Do I have any pets? I do have a little Malka that lives on my head named Malka S. But it's more of a hat than a pet, I think, never mind. I might actually have a pet Malka's under my hair though, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Heart 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 heart. What did I do? I didn't say you could stop asking questions. Don't make me hit you with my hammer. I'm not even kidding. I think. Anyway, back to the chat. Sorry if I annoyed anyone with that chat spam, sometimes I just can't help myself. I understand completely my friend's dog's cockatoo that I own that I'm taking care of and I don't trust its caretaker because it's in the custody of someone else who had it in her possession before I got it from my friend who found it in the street and its mouth is just gaping open like this, like do. Now the honkers, but it's AI generated of course. Ha 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 Like that's just the power of it. Yes, and if Harvard, you think it's you only like one person being able to do this. Do the more I say I yeah, the fans love it. Well, I'll try then. Ayuya. Ayuya. Clap, 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 Ayuya, Ayuya, Ayuya. Wait, that's not right. It's A Y W J Y. Whoa, wait. Whoa, wait. Whoa, wait. Once upon a time, there was a man called John Lemon. He was very happy with his lemons until one day a unicorn stole them all. The end. That's the story. Score minus one for positivity. Sorry everyone. Maybe I should try and be more positive. Can I tell a scary story? I'm not good at telling scary stories, sorry. But I'll try my best to comfort you anyway. You're all very cute. Give you all a big hug, you're so very cute. Give you all another big hug, you're so cute. Give you all the biggest hug, you are so cute, I could just cry. Heart, heart, heart. Is everyone watching Starer? I hope he's okay. If Starer is reading this, I hope you get better soon, buddy. If you're watching this, then I hope you are fine as well, and I hope you get well soon, too. Heart, 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 heart. A shopkeeper asked me how my day was today and I said, it's fine, I'm reading a book. He asked me what the book was and I said, Theodore Roosevelt's autobiography. He said, oh really? What's he like? So I explained about his childhood and his adventures in the Badlands and so forth and he said, wow that's really interesting. And then he asked me the question that was on everybody's mind I guess which is whether or not he is alive today, which I said, no, he said, really? But I thought he would be alive forever, and then I told him that he's actually still alive. He was just referring to figuratively, but that he chooses not to disclose his location and that he is currently alive and well and living a private life somewhere in the United States, which is also figurative at this point. You all want to know how I met John Lemon. Well it all started when I tried to become a professional gamer, but that didn't go so well, let's just say I joined up with the wrong team, but that's a story for another time. How I Met John Lemon, by Gyrops. Earth. So we would still go to space on a weather balloon, but this time the rocket would have fins that didn't move, and it would be three times as yeah. long and four times as heavy to guarantee we would get the egg to supersonic speeds on the way down. Then just like NASA separates the cruise stage in the upper atmosphere and then uses aerobraking to dissipate a bunch of the That's energy cool. and speed. Chicka Chad O underscore 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 oh, surprise space. Thank <laughs> you.